Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to look at the question longest common substring. So the question is given two strings, find the longest common substring between them. So for this particular two strings, the longest common substring will be B, C and D. Note how it is different from longest common subsequence. The longest common subsequence for these two is B, C, D, F and F. But since we are just talking longest common substring, the longest common substring here is BCD, BCD, and the length is 3. So how do we solve this problem? Yes, using dynamic programming. So here, on the first row, I have the first, uh, first string A, B, C, D, A, F. And in the first column, I have the second string Z, B, C, D, A, F. Right? So now, we'll populate this matrix and we'll get the result from there. All right, so now we'll just look at these two guys. If, if you had two strings A and Z, the longest common substring between them is of length zero. If you had string A and B and C, the longest common substring between them again will be of zero. If you have string A, B, C and Z, the longest common substring will be zero. So what this represents is if you had one string A, B, C, D, A, F and another string Z, the longest common substring between them is going to be zero. Now let's include B. So if you had string A on one side and Z and B on the other side, the longest common substring again would be zero. Now let's look at this. Since B and B are same, the longest common substring will be the 1 plus whatever is diagonally across, so 1. What this means is that we had string A and B and we have string Z and B. Now since B and B are same, the longest common substring here will be 1 plus and then we remove these two guys from the picture and whatever is the longest common substring between Z and A, which is 0. So 1 plus 0 uh, is 1. So here, the longest common, since they are not same, then we call them 0. If the, if the characters are not same, then we just put zero. Let's move to this row. So again, A and C are not same, so zero. B and C are not same, so zero. Here, C and C are same. So the longest common substring between Z, B and C, A, B and C is one plus what is diagonally across, so two. Again, we remove C from the picture. So because we get C is already contributing one, then we look, to look at the longest common substring between A and B and Z, B, and that is 1, so that 1 plus this 1, so that's 2. They are diff Again, D and C are different, so 0. A and C are different, so 0. F and C are different, so 0. Alright? Let's move on to this row. D and A are different, so 0. 0, 0. Now here, D and D are same. So the longest common substring will be what is across plus one, so three. Again, A and D are zero, difference is zero and zero. Let's fill up the last row. Zero, 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 zero. So F and F are same. So the longest common substring will be zero plus one, one. Once this matrix is built, all you have to do is iterate through this matrix again and look for the biggest number. So that number is 3. So this is showing me the longest length of the longest common substring. If someone asked you what is that substring is, so all you have to do is go to the biggest number, so 3. So 3 is definitely, this row and this column is definitely in the answer. So 3D is one of them. Then you keep going diagonally across. So C and C is one of them. And then you keep going diagonally across and then B and B is one of them. And then as soon as you hit zero, you know you're done. So our longest common substring is B, C, D, and the length is three. Let's look at the formula for this one. If input one i is equal to equal to input 1, 2, J, then T 
T of i j is equal to T of i minus 1 j minus 1 plus 1 else T of i j is equal to 0. If you want the full solution, go to my GitHub link, github.com, mission piece, interview, wiki. Thanks for watching this video.